Hi, I'm Alan Tatro with Global Sugar Art, and today I'd like to show you how to use the St. Patrick's Day uh, molds that um, are their own, my own line of molds. They're called the Alan's Choice Molds uh, by Global Sugar Art. And for St. Patrick's Day, we have two different mold sets. Each one has three cavities. Um, the first one makes two different styles of shamrocks and the little hat. And the second one does a shamrock, a little pot of gold with some coins in it and a hat in that as well. And these molds are exceptional quality. I had these made so that these would stand out among all the molds that are on the market. If you notice the shine in these, they're, they're just beautiful and they're made that way so that when you mold the product it comes out with a smooth as glass finish uh, and they really give you a really nice polished look to the cake. So these are very easy to use. I'm just going to take a little bit of of gum paste or a mixture of 50% fondant and 50% gum paste. Um, I've colored this green. I'm just going to put that in the mold. Put a little bit of shortening on my fingers so that it doesn't stick and push that down. And then a thin palette knife from the inside to the outside. Always work from the center out. And now you can do two things. You can just pop these right out. Because they're, they're made, they're very strong and they're very thin, you should be able to pop that right out. And there you have it. It's ready to go. You can freeze them as well for about three to five minutes. But because these molds are very elastic and the edges are thin and they're strong, you can, you can stretch that mold and you can pop the items out immediately. They're very, very easy to do. Uh, to finish them, you can color them with a little bit of petal dust dissolved with lemon extract or water. You can dry brush them. Uh, in this case, we took a little bit of gold highlighter and dissolved it with a little of, um, alcohol, uh, gin or vodka or lemon extract, and just highlighted the outside on the pot of gold. We actually molded the top part with a gold fo uh, fondant and the bottom part with green. And then we added a little bit of the hologram gold uh, twinkle dust on the top to make it look kind of sparkly and a little dark uh, banding and around the uh, shamrock as well and the gold on the background. There's many ways that you can finish these off, but they're really cute molds. They're perfect for cupcakes. You can combine them with a little chocolate coin, uh, some seasonal sprinkles and colors. Or if you want to go a little bit more complicated, Here's an Irish themed cake. And on this cake, I combine the elements of the uh, Celtic design, the classic Celtic design of the uh, Scottish and the Irish, along with the sort of uh, go lucky theme of, of uh, Ireland. Uh, so we have the, the shamrocks, we have the horseshoe, some yellow and white flowers, and a little pot of gold on the bottom. So this is a good St. Patrick's Day cake. It would be great for an Irish birthday or even um, a, um, uh, excuse me, an engagement party. Uh, a lot of people look, looking for a groom's cake or an engagement cake uh, for an Irish couple. This would make a beautiful cake for that. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the molds.